Welcome and thank you for joining us today. In this brief Accessibility Plus webinar, we are going to discuss alt text on images in Moodle. I am Kim Tompkinson and with me today are Lisa Kidder, Mark Cooper, and Sasha Johnson. So in a digital platform such as Moodle, it's possible for students who rely on assistive technology to miss critical information if suitable alternative text isn't provided. Today, we're gonna to cover what alt text is, why it's important, how to add it to images in Moodle, and some best practices that you can follow when you're working in your own Moodle courses. So first of all, what is alt text? Alt text is short for alternative text. And generally, one or two sentences are sufficient to describe the meaning and context of a digital image, such as one on a web page or in an app or in a Moodle course item. So screen readers, such as JAWS, will read the description aloud to help those that rely on assistive technology to better understand what is being shown on the screen. When it's well-written, alt text can improve user experience and reduce ambiguity. Now, Mark will tell us why alt text is important. Thank you, Kim. Why is alt text important for images? It's the right thing to do and it complies with ISU's Electronic Information Technology Accessibility Policy. Alt text helps create an inclusive environment so that all of your students feel valued, and by reducing barriers to access, students can interact with the course content. Alt text images is one part of making the course more accessible. The more accessible your course is overall, the less need for student accommodations. So now I'm going to turn it over to Lisa, who's going to talk about adding alt text images in Moodle ISU. So the best way to add images into Moodle and then add their alt text is to use the editor. So everywhere where you have editing permissions, whether it's a page, an assignment, a description, you will have this editor and there is a image icon. When you click on this image icon, you will be taken to a box that says image properties. It appears that you might be able to only upload by email, but there is this browse repositories. When you click on this browse repositories, you will be taken to a place where you can upload a file from your computer, or you can add a file, an image in this case, from any of the repositories listed here. You can log into your Google Drive, you can pull a Flickr image, you can pull from Wikipedia, and then when you choose that file, when you click the upload file, you'll be taken back to the image properties and the image will be pulled in here. This is where you would add your alt text, and this is where you would describe the image for someone who cannot see it. Many of the images that we use are simply decorative and do not add any information. And if this is the case, then we would check the box to say that this image is decorative only. Additionally, you can resize your image right here. As long as you keep this box checked, it will maintain the correct aspect ratio. And you can align it to the top, bottom, middle, right, and left. When you click Save Image, the image will go into the part that you're editing, and then your image is in there. Next, Sasha is going to share some of the best practices for what you should be putting in this field. First and foremost, all images within Moodle ISU must have alt text, and it's a requirement in the Moodle ISU image properties box. If the image does not convey meaning, it can be marked as decorative, which creates what's called a null or an empty alt text. So this means that the attribute of alternative text is there. However, it's empty, so a screen reader will actually just skip it completely for users who are using assistive devices. So remember the key here is to ensure that all of our learners are getting equivalent instruction. So if an image does contain information that all learners must have, it's important that we include information in ways that are accessible to all learners. So all text should describe the content and purpose of an image in a way that is specific and concise. It's not necessary to include image of or graphic of because assistive technology such as screen readers will already inform users of that. So it would be redundant to include it. So in adding alternative text, it's important to consider the context of the image and the purpose of the image. So what is it that you want to communicate to students who may not be able to see this image? For complex images, it can be necessary to provide more detail to communicate that meaning 
for example, the pie chart shown here, those of us who can see it can tell that it's showing points scored for different teams in percentages. So the equivalent alternative text for this image might be something like a pie chart showing points scored for teams one through four in percentages, team one, 21.8%, team two, 32.7%, team three, 10.9%, and team four, 34.5%. Something to that effect to where the meaning of the image is being conveyed in an alternative format. If it's a case where the description is going to be more than two to three sentences to adequately communicate that information, it's best to provide a longer description elsewhere, such as in a Google Doc that's then linked in the course. We welcome you to contact the ITRC for assistance with long descriptions such as that, or with adding alternative text for your images in Moodle ISU, we would be happy to help. All of the accessibility information can be found in the Tiger Tracks articles. We'll be adding this to the ITRC video library. There's other videos there as well that uh, walk you through different aspects in Moodle. You can always give us a call. We're located in the basement of the library on the Pocatello campus. You're welcome to drop in. We have a drop-in lab. And if you're working outside of business hours, you can send an email to itrc at isu.edu. That email goes to all the full-time staff, and we will answer your question in the morning. We have future webinars. We're looking forward to sharing more about accessibility and also the accessibility toolkit that has been added into Moodle to make accessibility much easier. We talked about how to add alt text when you're adding an image, but in April, there's a webinar that's going to talk about now that you have images in your old classes, how do you go back and fix them all? And there is this really cool, quick tool that will list all of your images and you can update all the alt text on one screen. So we'll be talking about that one in April. If you want to learn about it sooner, you're welcome to make an appointment with any of us and we'd be happy to show it to you. So thank you.